I'm really curious how they're going to look with Lucky being fielded in this server here as yeah. well. He held his own back in the previous match. He did. He finished top of the board for yeah. Astralis, actually. So that's definitely worth keeping an eye on. And look at this team spirit. Little T-side start. Little fast mid play. Little woo up through middle. And now they're chasing down Dupree. Yeah, he's just got to run for the hills. Flank is in from B-Glaive. Quick kill, Dupree. Looking for support. It's not there in time. Magis trying to stop them crossing from Moto, but he can't hit the shot. Bubski, he does get one. Lucky's trapped in the pit at least, but they are hounding him down, or at least trying to. Bubski fighting a lot of cover at least. Oh. Mir pops himself in, but he's dead to the USP. And Sundar Young with a bomb down and a one-on-three on his plate. He's found the first. Yeah, some die young, and he's up against the two Ooh. young guns, oh. but up and over, Bobski locking it in. That's more like it. Yeah, that's what we want to see out of him. It's uh, it's the round for Astralis. They grab that pistol. Great stuff there out of Glaive, right? Pushing fast down Banana. The moment they don't get contact there, he yeah. takes a peek right down Banana, doesn't see a thing, and he goes, well... They're not fighting me here. I'm going to read into this. This is the A commitment. Yeah. And he barrels down Banana, comes in with that wrap. And it means Astralis, you know, they're already rotating. They're already moving their pieces into the right place. And it's all on the back of the info that Bubski and Glaive provide. Yeah, it also helped by Dupree, right? He jiggles long and he actually like pulls his knife out and does a little strafe left and right and AD on the corner. And he baits some shots out of Spirit. That pretty much confirms the mid-rush. And yeah, it's a, it's a dangerous play. Spirit can always double back. It's Inferno after all. But Astralis seemed convinced and rightly so, AK is out in the second. Glills as well. Just the sole AK on Sumdai Young, but Spirit with the bomb plant are baited into buy. And I mean, I say baited, it's if anything a better buy than Astralis, lacking the utility that might be a necessity to this T half. But let's see if the individuals can fare well. Find a couple of headshots. Next thing you know, you've won a round on Inferno. They're just waiting out these H's. Is that exclusive to this map? Or is that all maps? Yeah, I mean, get five kills, you win the round. Most cases. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, try that at home with your friends. But uh, yeah, spirit. Who needs nades when you've got headshots? But do they have headshots, Harry? That's the question. I don't know, Hugo. I, I, you're, I, you're meant to be taken inventory <laughs> by the sounds of things. Right? You keep just throwing more questions my way. Look at this, right? So let's see. Do they do they have anything up their sleeve? It's going to be a little banana tape. We'll, we'll have a look in banana. See what we can see. Oh. Flashing the peak of Dupree back in. Spirit know what they're up against, right? They're doing their best to bait out everything. And here comes the commit. Yeah, it's looking to be fast into the A-bomb site. Three strong here for Astralis. It's this hero AK on Sumdai Young that's hoping to find these openers. Only SMGs here, apart from that one M4 down in the pit, and it's already gone. Magix has dropped the one rifle. Oh, oh. Here's that flank up through Banana. It's cut down again. This falls into the 1v2, and Magix, he's caught planting the bomb. Astralis picked that one up. They lean into that fast on the retake. Once again, they have this mm, flank coming yeah. in, right? Keep your eye on Glaive and Dupree because they've done that in both of these rounds now. Very, very proactive at stealing that banana info away yeah. and coming in on the fast flank. On top of that, some super nice awareness from Astralis, right? What, what Spirit throw in terms of utilities? They throw an arch smoke and they throw a library smoke. That makes it look like that they're, they're, you know, wrapping the long side. And in fact, they were. While the bulk of Spirit were coming up short, Mia was trying to get that long wrap and Spirit were waiting on porch side, showing their hand, but just trying to draw Astralis in to wait for Mir to backstab. Astralis don't allow that. They throw a moto smoke. You don't often see CTs do that, but they knew it was the commitment. They knew they were being wrapped, and that basically makes Mir useless. All he can do is kill rotations, and he's not even able to do that. Spirit's hand is forced up short into the triple uh, A setup. And that's a really nice call out of Astralis to drop that smoke. I didn't catch who did it, maybe Lucky. Way. It's a lock-in round. Spirit decide to reinforce a little bit. They put in some pistols, put in some nades, and try their hand again at A. Yeah, and it's stacked four strong here. Glaive once again is is just looking to be the the master of banana. Banana master, maybe. Works. Oh, here they come out oh. through the apartments. Oh. 
Ugly. Oh my, it's ugly. He will regain control. Dexter finding the first. The Tech Nine can't tap out this player who falls out through Moto. And Bubski has traded places with the apartment slot. He retakes it and then is yeah. there to close out the round that, for Astralis. That, that started so bad for Bubski yeah, and it ended was, so well. It uh, was very, very weird. Right? He's just he's just so, yeah. you know, when they're flooding you like he that, it's terrifying, up. man. Mm. It's terrifying. And so he's trying to deal with the guy who dropped pit. Then he's getting surprised by more dudes coming through the smoke. Nah, lovely yeah. little reposition out of him, right? Plays it safe, just is playing to win the round. They don't give this kill to Dexter. He had, he had his chance here, but that's yeah, how yeah. fickle the Tech Nine I was can gonna be. Say, I was going to say, yeah, that gun, man. Pros can make it look good, right? Like like medium speed taps. Kadian always makes yeah, the Tech Nine true. look good. Yeah, medium speed taps, looking for headshots. It's no longer like the run and gun, spam the chest, you know, just sprint through. Oh, that's not cool, Glaive. Chill, bro. There's a smoke there, and they go through it into Glaive. Again, double down. But yeah, you know, Tech Nine has definitely turned from like run and gun. Obviously, the movement accuracy is trash now, um, and and the body spam. To now, you know, you've got to be precise. You've got to be ading. You've got to be getting the headshots, or it's it's pretty bad. Um, you know, some entries there for Spirit, but in this round, it's not going well for them. Lucky up on the boost, spots magic, does some damage, and drops off back. Spirit do the same, grouping up at the B site. Now this is a, a bread and butter round for Astralis, right? Mount advantage by two. They don't need to make any kind of info plays. They can sit back with their 3-2 setup. They've got some utils still on B. And they're ready for this commit. It's coming. Yeah, Chop spotting that first bit of contact. That's Magisk been spotted back at Coffins. They're smoked out there. They're, they're delayed on this B push. They still look like they want to commit with it. They're now lining up the Coffin smoke. They've got a CT smoke to go in as well. So they've got all the utility to make this commitment happen, but you've got to uproot these two bodies back in the site. The rotations are coming in now for Astralis as well. Bubski has pushed all the way through the apartments and he is calling, like, yeah, boys, it looks like a B commitment. That's because it is a B commitment. Nice. And so he's now wrapping Banana, coming in on a fast flank. The problems now are twofold for Team <laughs> Spirit. You've not only got to clear the three-man stack site, but you've got to do it before this rap comes in. Lovely. And they can't find that timing it's a very small window and it closes up on team spirit there yeah, to find that potential it's something that's very hard you know you you lose a map especially if you have a poor performance and you feel like you're the reason that you lost that map well it's very hard getting your head back in but uh heads in the game for bubski not a dust player but inferno far more comfortable it seems yeah, i just and... think you know so yeah, this is easy. It's yeah. all about clicking on them. Yeah. And namely in the head, I think. That's the fastest area to get kills, Hugo. I've heard that. Yeah. Very few people have figured it out. Well, maybe Magic's has with his deagle. We've seen some dirty shots from him today. Astralis, even taking Banana yet again, they just really are not scared off. A new map and a, a new Astralis, absolutely. Far more confident, far more focused in all the real estate to go behind it. Glaive, now this is dangerous, committing here. You rarely see players stay in this spot once that smoke's faded and they don't have a re-smoke. You're here to the end, bitter or not. Jump. Dodged and Glaive beats out, dropping the bomb. They need help now more than ever. No, he doesn't. Three on the spray. Magist with some assist, lays down some damage and he might even set Glaive up for a little bit more. Doesn't want to swing out wide with three HP, so he swaps sides instead and lets his team swoop in for the round. Nice tap. And five alive on the anti-eco. Yeah. Astralis in control. It's the inverse of Dust 2. It was 5-0 up for Spirit when Astralis got their first round. Will that curse be lifted here and now? Yeah, this double B hold of Glaive and Magisk has been so oppressive, you know, like in... In the rounds where you've tried to take B, they, they really haven't given you a hell of a lot, right, is what it feels like. They haven't been challenging you at the car all too much whenever you've tried to go for these late B commitments. A lot of the times, you know, they're, they're falling out in the late round, and that's because they've been so good at getting these openers from, like, the early banana fights, right? When you've got the smoke down in the choke point, when you're raining the nades in. Oh, Dexter. Yeah, dude, Dexter's the wild. Man, he is he the Mothman, moth man today. He just runs through every molly that Astralis have thrown down, or his own molly, when available, it's going to cost him though. If he gets the kill, it's worth it there. But now, sitting on 30, at least he's Norper. He can handle low health. 
and Spirit are a man up. I reckon that's why he does it. Yeah. Because then he never is to, you know, give it over. Fans law never has to give it over. <laughs> right? That's a good point. Magic is like, oh man, I'm, I'm 20 oh, health. I've been hit York. down to 15. Oh, sorry, oh, mate. Tough, I've just mate. burned yeah. a molly down to two, wouldn't you? <laughs> that's your molly, Funny Dexter. That. You just threw it on the floor. All right, so look at this, right? They're out in yeah. top middle, but look this is gamble. just establishing a bit Ooh. of a default. Yeah, Astralis oh, are taking wow. gambles of their own. That's because they lost Lucky in that mid fight. They go, well, look, if we're going to win this, we might need to make risks happen. We might need to take a bit of a gamble here. They leave three over towards B, and they've read this like a book. Wow. Team Spirit are going in to this site that is stacked to the nines. It's got to smoke down Molly. They're going to go. Where's the flash? It's not over yet. They're just going in dry. And all the kills coming in. Majisk does one in. And Molly burns Chopper out. And then jumping over the top. Glaive just trying to finish his spray. And two kills come through for Spirit. They're holding on. They flip the scales on its head. Three on two. Bomb still loose. Time to grab it. Got to watch oh. the smoke spam. Two players are tagged up. The flank from Bubski with a Tech 9 right now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Dex. Oh, there it is. Up close. Bobski's removed. Magisk left up in the clutch, but that bomb's going to go down. There's oh. eight seconds. Magisk is playing oh. in the smoke, and Mir peeks ahead Risky. of it. He doesn't have the bomb out. He's looking for the fight, knowing that they're going to try and stop that bomb plant with so little time left. That's meta gaming right there. Yeah, I'd mate. I'd, as far as <laughs> rounds go, right, that is a very, very scrappy round. It's great to see that Team Spirit are able to, like, regain some composure yeah. in the chaos of that situation. Yeah, some whip shots are special. Yeah, but it was like that was like a real coin flip of a round. That's kind of the sad part, right? If you're team spirit, you can't look at that and go, yeah, all right, boys, let's just give us a give us another one of them, like, and then we're on to a winner, right? It's not gonna be easy to replicate that. You're lucky that you're able to weather the storm of a triple stacked B bomb site. Yeah, pretty sure that was a two on four as well for Spirit after the the you know et or entries were shut down after those first couple of kills uh, come through on B. So that's a, a real shame of a round to lose, but history is repeating itself. And Spirit have broken that 5-0 streak as Astralis did back on Dust. Can they build upon it? Long smoke is in. It's looking like a faster round. The bomb is still back in spawn notice, and Ajax is getting tagged up through the smoke. Oh my goodness, the pistol doesn't do it. And Bubsky caught out as Dexter runs through the utility. He is on one right now. Line oh, up in the B side. Glaive. Glaive's got the bomb. It's all up in the air. What? Yeah, look at this. This is so wild. They've taken long, but Glaive has taken bomb control off of Team Spirit, and the round now might fall apart on the back of that. Oh, Dexter missed. started it off with what? a double. We can see him. There we go. He does get lucky eventually. Oh, this is weird now. Yeah. You are splitting some very, very fine hairs. Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. Down in the bottom all the way from T-Spawn. And the worst part, the worst part for Dexter is even as he tries to get this bomb back, he doesn't know about Dupree, who's still lost in the source at this A-bomb site. He's going to get shot in the back of the head. There it is. <laughs> Astralis up onto six. That round is chaos, and Glaive is very much the hero. Yes, absolutely, right? Dexter gets a double A kill. That's the saddest part, right? He gets a double A kill, still commits into the mid to B because the bomb is so far back down ramp. And all along, it was a solo B player, right? That's temptation enough, as Glaive had no support, but didn't need it, Harry. Lines up a double, goes even further, chases them in alt mid. You'd think Glaive's sitting on the bomb. He's doing nothing of the sort. Perfect round from the in-game leader here. He's still got it. A lot of players would have gone for the knife here in that frag for Dupree, but he's a better man. He went off. We're back. We're back with the game. And look, the clock is ticking down. That means we're actually getting back into the swing of things here, Hugo. A little break. You know, this was this was a time for you guys to go and get ready. You know, like you had a chance to go get a drink, maybe some food, maybe a beverage. That's another word for a drink. You could have had any one of these three slash two options. And if you've missed the timer, that's on you, because now we're back into the game. Astralis, they've got a little partial investment here. They're going to try and break apart to further widen this lead. Yeah, no breaks on this train, but there may be some wait, some stops, as Inferno is often fairly slow to start. Spirit, they just want to take back Banana Man. We've seen Astralis command that position round after round, and this is no exception. Lucky on the AWP holding in deep. Focused on the scope, the flash pushes him off. He still has a full belt of utility to deny a rush, and already Majisk has answered the call on his rotate. In fact, a three-man rotate, and it's wisely done. Spirit are committing. They are not waiting for anyone. 
Yeah, in they come. Lucky with the first. Yeah. We need the rest of Team Spirit now. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's get it moving. It gets the people going. And oh, Glaive is going to knock them all out of the round. Jeez, that's a bit of a gnarly one there. Seven to one for Astralis. You know, the attempt at a B crunch. It was just, you know, a weak little uh, yeah. low buy around that one AK. Not the end of the world. Now we have the guns coming back here. Dexter's even got money to potentially don an AWP here. That's... You know, anyone else might not consider it, but Dex is definitely the sort of man that's going to look to bring that into play. That round's like every MM rush you do uh, in, in T-Side Inferno, right? You jump through the smoke, you die, you wait. Where, where's the trade? Oh, your entire team is hiding in the smoke, uh, climbing up blue. Oh, that's a shame. Well, a bit of a boost up for Lucky. He's going to check out deep mid. There's no one here. Dex is working alt with his team. Someday Young and Banana might come back into the orb and a missed shot the end of the world here won't cost Astralis anything but an opportunity missed and now it will be a quick play for Spirit oh my goodness flash over Lucky dropping his Bobski could get a multi-kill here the bombs drop but he will get traded Dupree still, still keeps his round intact here for Astralis up by a man bomb is loose Spirit they can't go back they can't call this round off they have to commit oh oh hang on some die young with his big old hands he's been able to grab that one through the smoke and now Mir comes in with a kill as well okay. from down in pit this is weird there's still two players for astralis in the site the smoke is concealing them kind of giving them a bit more room to play with they hear the molly tag someone oh, and they no. check for lucky they don't know about dupree he's back in this oh wow. no they do know about dupree he's brought to his knees it's glaive 1v2 this guy's second on the team right now right up there oh sorry top of the board i mean right up there alongside bubski he's looking to make this happen big swing from glaive and he's hit this timing now he's a lot closer than these guys in the site there's the first oh, for glaive good. low hp on me and the molly burns him even lower will it spread or is he fine he's towing the line it's fire time and glaive is gonna lock in the round astralis eight to one big glaive with another clutch yeah we love that full of them today and Astralis, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Food walking. Oh, dear. Yeah, playing chicken there, though, in that round, right? Spirit, they go very quiet in the pit. They get the bomb back under control. We have a, a couple of kills out of nowhere. And this clear from Dexter was dirt. Dupree was tucked in behind the Cold Zero box. He couldn't even trade in time, and somebody grabbed him instead when he tried to swing to take down that orb. You always have faith in Glaive, isolating that 1v1. Realizes very quick that the molly hasn't spread on top of the box, and that's the only position Mir can be left in. Nice try out of spirit, right? That went bad from the get-go. Oh my goodness, Magis just running down Banana. It almost looked like a lock-in. Everyone was trapped behind the molly in front of the smoke. Still, the entry comes in for Spirit. Need to respond. Lucky with the orb and everything going well for Astralis. Might force Spirit back into this A site, this nearly empty, barren A bomb site. It's just Bubski alone in the pit calling for help. Spirit needs to cut off these long rotates first, though, and there's already two here. Yeah, in this smoke, it's concealing to the Spirit. Ooh, oh, Magic's with the opener. And now they're a little more enticed. Just Glaive left to get past the no Magic's two quick taps has opened up this A-bomb site. Bobski is the final unknown entity. He is the final T the, to cross, the final I to dot. Down here in the pit, can he put a stop to the A-play? There's one for Bobski. Learns about the man up on balcony, but it's Magic's on a tear in this round, continuing to put up the goods. Lucky is now mm. all alone. Yeah. This is the last spot they expect him from. Now, they're still stalling. They're waiting for the kill. They know he's got the orb. He got a kill earlier. And so they're still both back down in the pit. Will they expect this position? Doesn't look like it. Crossing in. That's the bomb. Lucky looking for the other player. Looking for the cover. He can't find it. Magic's back down in the pit. Lucky drops. And they should hear that, but he still hits it. 1v1 now. Lucky. Missed shot. Another chance, and he'll nail it. 9-1. Astralis. Nothing can go wrong for them right now. They've what? got clutches coming out of the wazoo. And Spirit bow down to the Danes. Oh my goodness. That's the last place you expect the Orc to come from in the clutch. Especially considering he was B to, you know, from the get-go, right? He was a guy to get the kill off the top of the wall. So you're also expecting a CT rotate. You don't often see an AWP run down Banana and flank apps. But Lucky's just that kind of guy.
Great entries from Attix as well. Such a shame that it falls on dead ears. Yeah, it's really, really scary, man. Like, you know, when we were back on Dust 2 and we had those first few rifle rounds go against Astralis, it was like, yeah, you know, think about how brutal that must feel. Well, if you want to talk about rounds feeling brutal, there's no there's no feeling quite like losing these back-to-back -back clutch rounds. You know, having this scoreline build up more and more oh. in your face. 9-1, and it could get even sweeter. Oh, Ooh, that's sweet. Hell of a shot out of Mir. One HP as well when he makes that happen. Sheesh. One HP on the jumping glaive. Tapped him out. But what will Spirit do with this kill, right? They can't botch this opportunity. This is the best bet. A five on four, an untradeable one at that. Not the kind of kill you expect to get, but one that you need to make the most of. Grouped up to on, towards the A site. Stratus has split 2-2. Two, two. The read is right for Spirit. But even with the right read, can they hit the shots? Bubski and Dupree, terrifying prospect on the other side. Bubski still even has a molly to stall things out. It's a good timing on it. Kind of smoke it as well. All that does really is prolong this wall, but they'll walk right through. No pain through the smoke. Bubski gets spotted. Dupree has his cross. Bubski knows he can live here. He doesn't need to fight to the death, but he's damn well trying. A lot of damage not converted. Dupree, it's up to you. And he finds the first. The lineup, oh. and he can't transfer the spray, but low health on everyone. Look They've been dinked down. And Astralis just have to finish the job. Yeah, look at the HPs. There's 22 health on all three players combined. But do Astralis know? That's the problem, right? Sometimes the numbers are enough to seal the fate of a round, right? Oh. Sometimes you just look at the top of the board and you go, yeah, two on three. They've had time to get set up. You'll hate this you when know? you watch back the demo. Yeah, yeah, like, this is just, unreal. Like, I'm very surprised they called this off, you know? Uh, yeah. Like, you don't... I guess Bobski didn't know he dinked Dexter on cart. He was just spamming the same angle and a, a transfer got him last bullet. But Dupree definitely should have called the Magics as low, at least. I guess the other yeah, question is Mir. Mir, as well, is unknown yeah. because he was spammed down to one at the start of a round through the smoke. So they know. actually only know that one of these players is tagged. It's kind of oh, devastating yeah. because... Mate, they are like the, the walking wounded on the side of Team Spirit. You take that if you're Spirit, but you are trembling in that three on two when you oh, think right. about you're the chance of losing. you're thinking like, yeah, they're going to yeah. give this a go. Like, yeah. oh, my word. Real shame for Majisk. He was so quick on that flank there. We, we've given a lot of credit to these, you know, flank down banana uh, plays for Astralis or even just the mid pushes on, on the B executes. Uh, and, you know, right now, that is a worst case scenario. It was set up in the right place, but they just didn't believe. 92. A chance back in. And we know that CT money is rough. All it takes is one round to put Dupree on a Deagle. He's surrounded by well-endowed teammates with a decent wallet. But Spirit just looking to mug Astralis. Take their keys, take their phone, and put them on pistols. This would be the round to do it. No longer Glaive at B alone. This time it's Majisk. They will be swapping it out. Putting Lucky there instead with the utility. Astralis fighting for me. They've not often done this right. Happy to concede and play back with these double pit app setups. Now with four in middle, they just want to fight for the round. They might not get a chance. Lucky will be calling for help soon enough. Yeah, in these B holds, man, Glaive has been such an essential piece of the puzzle. Ooh. And he's not here just yet, but he is starting to make his way round. Late, man, it's like you can hear me. Look at this. He's like, yeah, I am an essential piece of the puzzle. Let's go. Oh, oh no. my God. What? No. The lineup. No, it's not. The puzzle piece is missing. It's the worst possible fate. Magisk trying to hold on to B. Smoke down in CT does allow that bomb to get into the site. But still, Magisk has get up. Oh, he's trapped. Oh, oh, Don't move. Oh, my God. Ma Magisk, it's fine. Fire, it's like a T-Rex. It's all based on movement. And if you stand still, it can't see you. Oh, Will they okay. just save, though, right? With Magis so low. Dupree's not even here. Yeah, Dupree's so far away. I think you do just have to write this one off. This is so rough. They need to smoke Magis out. But you can see they're hunting him oh, down. Oh, yeah, no, he's First screwed. kill, and he's got it. Off the silent streak, 0 and 11, until that moment. I don't know if that's related to his reconnect or not, but uh, I'd imagine that's... Uh, his actual score.
Well, he's now on the board, Harry. That's a sigh of relief for Team Spirit. And a massive round as well. We talked about how that would be mugging Astralis off and, and breaking their money here. The save allows something in the follow-up, but this is it. You're already staring at Astralis' follow-up buy. 2K a player otherwise. And Dupree didn't even get a rifle out of that round, so it's a very sad fate for Astralis. Spirit, great recovery into the B site. Magix has been all over the entries today. Think about that double arch uh, kill uh, on the round that Glaive clutched out, I think it was. And right there in B, lines them up, shoots Glaive, ensues that, and then they are left with, again, scraps yeah, for the last. This means at least they take a buy. If they lose it, they eco one, they buy full last. Astralis are happy with a 9-6, yeah. but, you know, this at least gives them the opportunity for a 10-5. It does mean, though, that you've got, like, one proper buy round between yeah. you and that 9-6 yeah. scoreline, right? And so, and so you kind of are anticipating, like, a 10-5 is a good outcome here for yeah. Astralis. And if they win this, they are laughing. Oh, bro, yeah. No, no. Then, they're, then they're big money winners. So yeah. let's see, right? Beardy Utility going in towards this b site from Team Spirit. But this ain't no commitment. Mir's yeah. been tagged down low. And Dexter, reluctantly, no Molotovs to walk in, so he's given me the orb. Yeah, shuffling back a third player, Bubski. It's all on him in this round, really, the one rifle. Dupree with a shotgun. Left on his laurels in the A-bomb site. Glaive coming as well. Four men here, just in time. Team Spirit gonna hit the go button. Dexter with a pit volley. Lucky pushes apps, and now he's got right behind the enemies with a rifle as well. Bubski puts his to good use, and Lucky just wants to cover the cross, try and peek off the back of Dupree's control. Glaive still smoked off, but Spirit are slowing down, and this could be their undoing. Oh, yeah. Lucky. Another. And now the AK. Oh, swinging out. The Mag 7 up close in the site. Oh, How can these two? Lucky and Dupree have got to try and Ooh. help each other here. And while Lucky's pulling the attention up towards the apartments, Dupree is given that much more freedom to swing out from in the site. Oh, Astralis. They are looking like they could be on to a winner. Just Dexter left to get past. He's removed the first man from play. With only 10 seconds left, time is his big <laughs> enemy. What? He's going for the AWP. He yeah. killed Mir there earlier with the AWP. Trying to give his teammate a gun. Dex is hanging around for exits. He knows he can do damage at least. He can't win the round. And the AWP will send him packing. Nice stuff for Lucky. Yeah, okay, the gun's a bit of a bait. And Dexter knows he can get a kill off of it, but it changes nothing. And Astralis, they cash the check, Harry. Yeah, it's pretty brutal as well. Dexter dying after time leaves you in a spot where you kind of have to force here yeah. in your team spirit now. This this was set up for a 9-6, but that risky buy for Astralis, I say risky, if anything, was the, the wiser choice of the two options than to eco. And you've got to say as well, Astralis have had every goddamn read in this CT side. Think about the amount of stacks that they've had, right? Sometimes solo players like Bubsky alone in pit or, you know, Lucky alone on B. And as soon as Spirit getting in position to commit as five, it feels like Astralis have three there in time. Just the last possible second they have to rotate, they will always hit that on the head. That's the experience on this map. Great reads coming out of Glaive and even better shots being hit. Team Spirit looking for scraps. They need a hero. Yeah, and this isn't the build-up to Hugo's musical interlude. This is actually looking like just a, a B sneak. They're, they're doing it dry. They were trying to play contact into B. You know, they get they get Mir out in the open and he's creeping in. He's thinking he can forge this path into the B bomb site, but all it's actually done is given that first kill over to Astralis, and now they're not going to repeak this. They can keep smoking it off. Oh, my. Magisk is going back oh, in with fear. the MP9 for more. There's a molly in the hands of the pillar player, but he's able to get it out in time, and now he's ready. Gun up, trying to help his teammates out here in the site. This is not comfortable for Team oh. Spirit. It's death by a thousand cuts as the MP9 whittles them down. Astralis up on 11 and yeah, man, these executes, yeah. they look rough for Spirit. Uh, if you even want to use the word execute to describe that round, no. right? like they, <laughs> they're so paranoid, they're going to get swung, and <laughs> well, they were right. But Jisk and Dupree just come out swinging from either side of B on CT, and they just crush Spirit in the choke point. Astralis, not a wrong read this map, and every clutch to boot. Feels like they've had it in their pocket. Last round of the half now. Spirit again, a desperation buy. They've got to do it. Double AK, right up an arm, and just has had enough. Yeah, there's the opener. Once again, this very oppressive banana control oh. coming in, and Dupree. 
has even removed another man from this oh, round. He's out. just taken fights in middle, and he's not paying a price for it. Finally traded. Oh. Lucky, there's a freebie on a Dexter. And to some die young, gonna do the honor. Just moments away from taking us the distance in this series, and it would do it justice to say the very least. Let's jump in. T side now for Astralis. They've had every right read on that CT half, every stack in perfect positions. How will Spirit fare having to make those same decisions? Astralis moving up apps fast, waiting for no one. The steps get heard, lots of wood. Typically tappity as they jump out into the A site. Double porch setup will do work as Mir gets a double triple and the molly as well. Everything for Spirit. Blink and you miss it. This round Ooh. is done unless Majisk has something to say. Ah, oh, poor Majisk. Ooh, okay. that's a nice tap. But still, he needs four more just oh, like that. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to get brought to a pretty abrupt end. Hell of a round out of Mir. Yeah, that's that's big as well, Harry, because if we look to these scoreboards coming into the half, they're not pretty. Dexter, Magic's having incredible games right now, entering up a lot. That AWP was, was nice when he had it in the early stage of the half, and Magic's always provided opening kills on the AK. But Chopper, 1-14. and 14. Some die young, 5-14. and 14. And coming into that round, Mir was also 5-13. and 13. So it wasn't pretty. Now with at least... One man warming up. Maybe the others can follow in suit. Yeah, you just want to supplement this Dexter Magic's duo, right? If you could have a third man in tandem with that, and that's why we keep mentioning that we're hoping Mir is yeah. that third man. He needs to be. You know, that would be the route to recovery here. Dexter as well might be having an easier time of orping coming up in this half, so maybe his impact can look good to go up, but... Being real, like he, he was already finding so much over on the T side. So look, we got this little deep round here, this force by Forestralis, keeping the pressure applied to Team Spirit. Lucky and Dupree over towards the apartments. And well, there was Lucky and Dupree here. Now it's just Lucky, right? Dupree is sidelined by Dexter up on the balcony. I wants revenge for his fallen teammates, so he's moved in to help out with this double mid push. Right now, they're trying to take this default. They've got options, right? Astralis, they've got a lot of choices here because of the control they've taken up in mid, but now that these players have been spotted, Team Spirit, I'm imagining they're going to pull a player back from B, but they haven't yet. They're still committed to this double hole down towards the A bomb site. Yeah, I'll smoke. They'll hear that land, though, and so now they can read into it. It is going to be this A wrap. You've got to watch out. Next to a grave. Oh, he hooks his head up for a couple of quick shots, and the headshots are all his. One more through the smoke. Magic will close. Nice and easy round there for Spirit once they hit the five on three. Astralis are given some room on long, but. It's all by design, swiftly taken away. And the round as well, 5 to 12. You don't want to call the comeback here, but this is how it starts. However, I'm not saying squat until I see a gun round from Astralis. I mean, back in their uh, back in their CT side, right? Uh, Glaive definitely deserves a lot of credit for for the openers he was able to find, right? Especially like early in that first half, his banana aggression was great, and I think a lot of the uh, the calling in terms of the rotations, mate, they were so well timed. That was something you drew attention to, right, Hugo, for the Astralis defense. T side, it's going to be interesting to see if Glaive can kind of keep up that ability to open. It's not really what we think of when we look at him. This round should be a quick, clean one, and it's not, not disappointed in that regard, really. Yeah, you lose one of the SMGs, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Now you're up onto six, and now we got the big guns coming out for Astralis. This is where it gets interesting again. This is where Team Spirit are really going to have to switch themselves on. Yeah, we even have an AWP as well. Someday who buys that up. He got three with the uh, MP9. It's a bit of moolah. Goes a long way when Dexter's picking it up. Astralis. We're expecting AKs here, right? Probably no AWP the first round. We'll get the taste of blood, get to see how Spirit are running their first rifle round as well, knowing they're up against guns. And hell, the bonus is you might get a free AWP if you win it. Prize on the line. One step closer to victory lane. Triple B early. Spirit take banana with their utility, but they won't push down. Stratus instead push through, meet them there. Mia, quick fadeaway kill. Buffs does get that trade. Some die young. 
dead throwing grenades. And even though Mir got that opening kill, did not deter Bubsky from continuing to push back in. He grabs a free molly. Doink. But they want to re-aggress. It looks like it. Mir's close. Smoking CT. Now Spirit hold off in case this is an execute. And they're getting very worried that that's the case. The third rotation coming in. Even Chopper leaning alongside. Still 1-14. and 14. Still having an absolute mare. Astralis, where do they want to go? Back and forth. Grouping up eventually in middle. And they seem to have made the right read right now. Can Glaive at least keep them here? Because this aggress aggressive flash back down. Banana will confirm the suspicions that Spirit have. Is being clear? Yes, it is. Free real estate, mate. Better run that rotate. Yeah, at the same time, while it's confirmed, like, yeah, B's clear. Now the alarm bells are going off, right? You're realizing if they're not banana, that means they're moving into this A bomb site. Chopper here alone. As you mentioned, he's having a rough old game. Magix is going to come in and try and help him. They're already uh, too deep. Oh. Chopper dead immediately. Still 1 and 15. That could have been what? his moment. The great crash? Oh, my word. What's happening here? Yeah, Glaive just looked like he, he I, I don't know, he's just stopped in the middle of short, but Doesn't don't matter. worry, because Dupree's there to pick it all back up. I don't know if he was like asking for the bomb or something, but he was knife out in the open. Yeah, just stood like, still. That didn't look normal. I'm looking at him, uh, yeah, no, he's still, he's in the survey, he's still here. Maybe he was just waiting for the bomb. Maybe he just thought he was safe, but off of that re-aggress down banana, right? Team Spirit got so much info, they just, you're know, fast flank the A site. Something that Astralis is certainly used to. They did it themselves a lot of times, but whether Glaive was lagged out, caught by surprise, none of that matters, Harry. Double swing back onto porch, and Astralis lock in their first gun round. It was all worthwhile. We saw nothing. Yeah, Dexter is now donning this CT side orb, though that's going to be exciting, right? He tries to take that fast peek down banana, but oh, you want to talk about oh. fast peeks? Look at this. Up okay. through the middle, Burgess with the opener. Dupree catches Chopper no. changing weapons, and that's the A bomb site overran. This is the round done and dusted. We just witnessed it. <laughs> They're already hunting, Harry. There's only two guys in A. Three guys are, are fanning out. They're spreading back to old mid. They're looking for the kills. Magisk even going in through the library smoke to take CT spawn back. And I love this spread for Astralis. They don't even push down mid and go straight to Banana. They clear everything. They go alt mid, they clear T-apps, they clear T-spawn, and now they lock in Banana. They know Spirit, there's only one place they can be. Hidden out at the back of the bomb site. Molly start yeah. to go in. Astralis executing into this essential retake, this hunt. Uh, this is wild. They're trapped in ruins. They're they're trapped in this little church at the back of B. They're on their hands and knees. They're praying, please, just let me get these guns out of the round. Uh, it's going to be all Team Spirit have. And Astralis can't <laughs> let you have nice things. They take them all away. Astralis up onto 14. That's so beautiful. And, and this really now should be like a hard GG. This yeah. should be the round that just decided the outcome. The, the immediate 3K to open up the A play. It's some weirdness in amongst all yeah. of that, right? But you get the kills, you, you immediately hunt down those saving players. Great stuff out of Glaive and Astralis here. Yeah, Chopper, I mean, he is in his head after that one. He's holding a smoke and, you know, switching around, and then Dupree just walks through and kills him before he can get his gun ready. Oh, just could not be worse, could it? As well as Dexter. Finally gets the AWP. What happens? Majisk goes wide on him. Dexter doesn't see. It just doubles up on the long side entries. Yeah, you don't call GG till it's done, but this is as close as it gets, and it's about to be confirmed. Sunday Young locked out of the B-bomb site. It's a full mid-stack for Spirit. And what the hell do you do here? Not even a kit. They knew they weren't going to retake. And if you're still wondering, I can confirm that's not going to be happening. Try as you Damn. might, Astralis will lock you up. Pulling everyone round like they're yeah. still in interested. Yeah. I'd good luck. I don't think you even get well. They don't either, Harry. They're out of there. Yeah, there they are saving. Yeah, now. you hang around. You always give it, you know, the due diligence it deserves, right? Maybe you look and oh, do Starless get overconfident? Do they jump through a smoke? Do they give you a free gun? Suddenly, you know, you could be inspired in a five and four. We saw rounds like that back on Dust Two, for example. But uh, this is not one of them. This is not Dust Two, <laughs> and the scoreline speaks volumes to that. Fifteen to six. Spirit continuing the losses on this map. Winning two out of their last 10 games here on Inferno. Well, now that's two out of 11.
Any yeah. ancient fans? Yeah, that's what I was about to say, right? <laughs> it at least sets us up for this very, very, you know, exciting third map sure. finale of Ancient. I'm kind of happy that it's feeling like a done deal that we're going to get there. Team Spirit, you know, if, if they wanted to embark on this comeback, it's going to take a miracle. They, they're force buying up here. They've got MP9s to supplement those pistols that were carried forward. Yay. A kit in play as well. But, you know, you're not celebrating this investment if you're Team Spirit here. It's just a formality at this point. Five kills. Or three kills and a bomb part will do. However it be, Astralis are looking to get us there. Triple B set up for Spirit Bubsky. Safe jump spotting. This is a new way to do it. Making sure that you can't get a headshot. Very little opportunity given over. Not like Spirit have the guns for it either. Now, we saw this reset of Bubsky off the back of, you know, his, his abysmal Dust 2 game into this. He had a great start. He was 9-1. He was really looking good. He kept it up. we got to ask those same questions into the third map for a player like Chopper. 1-16. and 16. Obviously focused a lot on the leading as well, but needs to be doing more in the server. It's a good start for Magix. Will it go anywhere, though? Oh, Astralis are quick to just up and abandon the A play, right? While they were looking to contest this mid control, they go, look, Dupree, you see what you can get away with up in the apartments, right? And maybe we'll come back to you. He's heard players rotating over, as has Bobski. And I think that's going to send Astralis back into the A play now. With Dupree still holding on to the apartments, it's kept this avenue open. This was always an option for Astralis, thanks to Dupree in this position. As they sneak in now, they've read this one right. Two players in the site and Lucky with the opener. Bobski's going to lock in that second kill, trading it out. And now the bomb is down. 15 to 6. It's all on the line. A three-on-three -three retake. Dupree in the apartments. He could, he could shut down rotations. He's going to miss this timing. But he can still wrap through Boiler. And it's this Boiler wrap that really could seal oh. the fate of Team Spirit here. Yeah, they've dealt with Magis down in the pit. But I can't stress enough, Dupree, he's got the round. And Bobski is there to lock in.